All right, guys, Mark Ferrasha, Pro Tech Dog Training, and Lucifer. Good. 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 Awesome. Yeah, good, Lucifer. Yep. Come on, good. Explosion, release. Good boy. Yep. What I'm doing now is probing to see where Lucifer's at. He's been worked a lot less than the other guys. So I've got to see where his head's at. Yep. Before I make my decisions, what I'm going to do with him, I already kind of knew what I was going to do with Dioji, but where I'm going to take him. Every dog's different. I may not put the pieces together in the same way for every dog. They're all there, but when, when do I put those pieces in place and how do I build them? That's the decision you make when you're working different dogs. Every dog is different, right? And it's all about where's his head at in the work. Where's his state of mind? What's his maturity level? What's his drive states, right? You see, the OG's drive states a lot more in a lot of ways than Lucifer, but Lucifer's got a good draw for food. Yep. Yay, good boy. Seems like you have a good concept for the basics. Yep. Yes. Good. Good boy. Good. Yay. Nope. Yes. Good boy. Good. Good. Need some more spatial. I don't think he's ready to really be drawn in with a lure around because look where his head's at. He's diving for the food too much. So I'll keep him where he's at in a general sense. Good boy. Good. Yep. Nope. He's wanting to jump up on me, and nope. I just keep moving away and saying nope until he learns that that's not an answer, right? That's not an answer to get him what he wants. What does he want? This food. Same thing though, his drives are a little higher because he's changed his food cycle. He's now getting twice a day instead of three times a day, and I can use that to manipulate the drive states and to get the dog working for me in the way I want. The idea, the first thing though, is you've got to be aware of, right? So I've kind of told you this stuff. Would you be aware of this being something you needed to be aware of to be able to hone in on that you can use? I'm telling you so you're aware of it, but would you have done that on your own? I don't know, okay? How much experience do you have? Yeah. Every dog is different and everything's in a constant state of flux. It's always fluid. You never know, and, and from one day to the next, you may change on what you're doing with the dog and why you're doing it. What, what makes those decisions for you? Experience. That's the key. Yep. If you don't have the experience, you watch these videos, not, you're not going to do exactly the same thing I do, but you're going to kind of have a semblance of understanding the concepts of what I'm teaching you, which is no good and yes, nope, and how things work in dog psychology. Good, there you go. And I should have gave a yes, but a yes marker is a break as well, so good. Yes, good boy. Yes, good boy. Yes, good boy. So I'm flooding the marker, right? I'm, yes, good boy. Doing it again and again. Yes, good boy. So he hears that yes, and he gets keyed into me breaking into that reward. Good boy, the OG, good. Yep. Yes. Good boy. Good. Couche. Good. Now I'm going to push him back a little bit, put the food underneath his chest, and start getting him to understand it's going to go to the ground. Let's see how he does with that. Does he understand the concept? Again, I'm probing. Let's find out. Up. Good. Keep him back a little bit more. Couche. And try to make sure his chest is there for me to put the food down on, right? Good. I was loading the, the, break, the terminal bridge marker. Nope. And now I'm kind of probing to see what he's doing with the other one. Good. So that's what I'm doing right now, guys. In a nutshell, I'm backing up and I'm finding out where is his brain as far as understanding the concepts that he should understand, which is no good and yes. I already know that's there with Dioji. Yes. I don't know that to be the fact with him. Yep. Good boy. Good. Yes. Good. So now my goal is to try to get him to be back a little bit farther and to work on our, our duration marker. Yep. Good. Push Good. Notice my hand's right on top of his face. Why? Because if he bends in low, he can't get to his lip and have his chest where I want it. I don't want it so far forward that I can't place the food on the table. Nope. Good. Good. Nope. Good. So I need to work on this a little bit more and establish my markers with him a little better until he understands the concepts. Nope. So that I have him to work with in that next growth stage that you see me doing with Dioji. Dioji's up a level and we're doing some other things as far as conveying concepts to him that are going to matter in our training. Good. Good. So 
So I'll work on this a few days, actually. Good. Until I know that he's got this. Good. Yoji. I mean, not Yoji. Lucifer. Good, Lucifer. Yep. Good boy. Good. There you go. Real important. I said the dog, right dog's name when I'm doing that break and all that and setting him up for that with his dog's name first, preparatory to the explosion, preparatory to a command. If I said the wrong name, he's not going to clue in as much, right? So that's where it gets important. You hear me saying the wrong name yesterday. I think I had a vid out and I was saying the, the Lucifer's name constantly was calling him Dioji. Good. And there's certain key spots you don't want to do that because you're not conveying the thought properly, right? Good. Yeah. Good. Couché. All right, I'm moving back. Couché. I don't care about the action as much as I do him getting to learn this next concept. Good. Good. I do like the fact that they're both a lot more receptive to food this morning. Good. Which tells me that uh, that change of, of uh, feeding cycle, good, is uh, going to take hold. And so I'm going to use it right now when it's fresh. It's a novel thing for them, right? After a week, two days, whatever, they may not be as receptive as they are today because this is the first day that I've changed their, their feeding to from three to two times a day. Yep, good boy, good. Good boy, yep, good boy, good. I can, yeah, good. Kusha, good. Good. So that's what I found out about this session is where is his head at? I know exactly where he's at now and now I'll start building on it, which means he's got to have some more affirmation. No, in regards to the markers and how this whole pattern sets up for him. Good. Good boy, Lucifer. Good boy, Lucifer. Yep. Come on, my good. Dog's name. Nice pause. Then your explosion release or a break through the bowls or break through the table. And I want to set that up along with my markers and really concentrate on that for the next day or so until I know he's got it. When I know he's got it, I can start growing him in another direction. But we got to come back a little bit and get that placed in. All right, Mark Ferrashi, Protect Dog Training, and Lucifer. Talk to you later.